Hello again, champions! Do you want to learn how to do this? This is your no-nonsense guide on how to stay on the walls forever, or what I like to call it, how to crab and roll the champions. Now a quick disclaimer, this very well might be patched going into the first season, but it is still very useful to do at the moment. Also, this is a very difficult mechanic, but with some practice, you will find yourself being able to do this in your games consistently. Now the crab is all about the rhythm of the input. You are only pressing three buttons, which are tackle, uppercut, jump, tackle, uppercut, jump, tackle, uppercut, jump. You see my controller overlay for the input timings. Easiest way to start practicing is by looking at the crowd. You are aiming to stay within the two black lines at the top of the rink. So how I like to do it is when I reach the bottom line, I then start the input, which takes me back to the top line, and then rinse and repeat. Again, it's all about the rhythm and the timings. You want to leave as much time in between uppercuts as possible so you're able to slow down that cooldown, so you're able to uppercut higher. You will know when you're doing it right, when your skater jumps rather than doing the uppercut animation. Don't worry, you will fall a lot when starting out, but keep going and keep practicing. You want to just tap the jump button as quickly as possible, so you avoid air posing and falling in a ridiculous way. You might be asking, well, I don't want to look at the crowd because I want to see what's going on in the game. Well, luckily, once you've practiced being able to face the crowd enough, you can then try and turn your camera to face the rink and the gameplay. This will add a whole other layer of difficulty to this mechanic. I found keeping my left analog stick facing the bottom corner of the way you're moving to be the best way whilst looking at the rink. You can use your analog stick as sort of a speed controller. You can try and go faster or slower around the rink depending on the game situation. This is a few uses in game and that is going for kickoffs, getting passes high up so you're able to get a ton of speed, but you want to be moving in a predictable way because the passes can mess up while doing this, or you can stay up high and wait to pounce on the enemy as they come through the gate. It is very hard to stay in one place while doing this. You can only really move side to side, hence the crab name, and that's because of the way the tackle works. But you can alternate directions to stay in one area. If you are struggling to get it down, you should look at my controller inputs to see the timings as well as what way to face your analog stick. To show off how good this mechanic is, here is me starting from no speed and being able to stay up on the walls. Again, you are able to do this forever. This has been your no-nonsense guide on how to crab and roller champions. Let me know any other tutorials you want next. Please like and subscribe if this helped. And until the next one, bye!